How to build a free tier home sock lab. This is cybersecurity hands on training using AWS and Grafana. This is episode number one. What if you could build a real world security operations center sock at home using only free tier cloud resources? Sounds ambitious, right? Well, that was my exact thought when I first started. My name is KD and welcome to Cyber Defend Lab, where I document my journey in building a lightweight yet powerful SOC simulation for real world cybersecurity training. In this video, I'll walk you through how I started with a grand vision, scaled down to a practical free tier setup, and what's next on my roadmap. Whether you're a cybersecurity student, an aspiring SOC analyst, or just someone fascinated by offensive and defensive security, this channel will give you hands-on insights into setting up and operating a SOC in the cloud. Background and problem. Like many cybersecurity learners, I wanted to create a full-fledged SOC environment, complete with multiple virtual machines, advanced monitoring tools, and realistic attack simulations. But reality hit fast. AWS costs can skyrocket and complex setups require significant maintenance and troubleshooting. I needed a way to build something powerful yet lightweight within AWS and Oracle Cloud free tier limits while still simulating real world SOC workflows. My Cyber Defend Lab. This is the evolution of my plan. Here was my original plan my big grand plans. Here's a detailed explanation of how my three cloud services and VMs were going to interact during my Cyber Defend Lab simulations, including daily and weekly tasks and role assignments designed to stay within AWS and Oracle free tier limits while ensuring ease of use. Here's the interaction overview. My Cyber Defend Lab was going to replicate real-world uh, real world cybersecurity workflows across AWS using Ubuntu Server and Rocky Linux and Oracle Cloud with Kali Linux. These VMs were to be designated as targets and attackers to simulate both defensive and offensive operations. Now here were the roles and key interactions. Number one, AWS Ubuntu Server the role, centralized monitoring hub for log collection and threat detection. Its purpose, SOC monitoring, cloud compliance, and centralized log aggregation. Interactions, aggregates logs from Rocky Linux using Elastic Stack, monitors for threats with AWS Guard Duty and manages access controls with AWS IAM, incorporates indicators of compromise from MISP and Alien Vault OTX. Now, if you notice, Elastic Stack and Log Stash is highlighted in red. That was the main cause for me to come up with a revised simulation idea. I'll explain later as we move along. Number two, AWS Rocky Linux primary target. Role, simulated production server representing organization or government standard infrastructure. Purpose, target of attacks to evaluate system defenses and collect forensic data. Interactions. Logs forwarded to Ubuntu server for centralized monitoring, subject to reconnaissance and attack attempts from Kali Linux using Nmap and Metasploit. Acts as a forensic data source, generating logs and artifacts for analysis. And then the third part of it was going to be Oracle Cloud with Kali Linux, which would be the offensive security platform. Its role would be uh, simulate real world threat actor tactics and tools. The purpose, offensive security tasks, including penetration testing and incident response simulation. The interactions conducts reconnaissance and exploits vulnerabilities in my Rocky Linux and analyzes forensic data collected from Rocky Linux, generates attack footprints and security alerts for detection by Ubuntu server. Daily and weekly workflows. Now I had everything set up where I wanted to do daily tasks. In the morning, there would be preparation, Ubuntu server, which would be the defender, um, update elastic stack rules with fresh IOCs from MISP and Alien Vault OTX, and just logs forwarded from Rocky Linux. 
problem was Elasticstack. It was almost impossible to get it installed on AWS. Lots of troubleshooting. So let's keep on moving. Rocky Linux was going to be the target forward updated system and application logs to the Ubuntu server. Then Kali Linux would be the attacker, prepare attack tools, updating configurations <coughs> for the day's simulations. Midday, attack simulation, Kali Linux. Perform reconnaissance using Nmap to identify open ports and services on Rocky Linux. <coughs> Launch exploitation attempts with Metasploit. For example, privilege escalation. Test web application vulnerabilities using Burp Suite. Rocky Linux. Actively generate logs and serve as a target for simulated attacks. In the afternoon, detection and response, Ubuntu server. Detect anomalous activities using Elastic Stack and AWS Guard Duty. Triage alerts and document findings for incident response. If you notice, Elastic Stack is highlighted again, and that's mostly because Elastic Stack was a big part of this original setup. But because there was so much troubleshooting and it wouldn't work properly, I had to come up with a revised uh, simulation setup. Okay, let's keep moving. Rocky Linux collects forensic artifacts such as memory dumps and logs post attack. <clears throat> Number four, evening. This will be done in the evening, reporting and analysis, Ubuntu server, consolidate logs and generate a daily threat report. Kali Linux, analyze forensic data from Rocky Linux and document attack methods. I had it set up where I wanted to have weekly tasks on Mondays, each week on Mondays, updates and preparations, update Elastic Stack and AWS Guard Duty with IOCs. Once again, there's Elastic Stack, a big part of it, but because it wasn't, there's too much troubleshooting, I had to go a different route. Okay, refine, review and refine MISP threat intelligence. Okay, number two, on Wednesdays, every Wednesday, Advanced attack simulation. Perform advanced exploitation techniques such as brute force attacks from Kali Linux. Test lateral movement tactics using Metasploit on Rocky Linux. Friday would be, every Friday would be forensic analysis. Conduct forensic investigations using autopsy and volatility. Document findings and prepare after action reports. Role assignments for VMs. Target systems. Rocky Linux. Primary focus for offensive testing and incident response simulations. Ubuntu server. Secondary target for occasional simulated cloud-based attacks. Attacker system would be Kali Linux. Sole offensive security platform. Conducting attacks on Rocky Linux and simulating crowd, cloud threats. Optimizations for free tier usage. This was key. AWS free tier. Configure Elastic Stack to handle no more than 5 gigabytes per month of logs. Use AWS Guard Duty and CloudTrail sparingly by narrowing monitoring scopes. Once again, there's Elastic Stack. Number two, Oracle free tier. Optimize Kali Linux usage to stay within Oracle's free tier limits for VM capacity. Data storage. Number three, archive old logs periodically to prevent exceeding free storage capacities. Use smaller data sets for Wireshark and Nmap scans, scans to reduce overhead. Ease of adjustments. Pre-install tools like Metasploit and Hydra on Kali Linux to reduce setup time. Use Docker image for MISP on Ubuntu server for streamlined deployment. Simplify log forwarding on Rocky Linux by automating configurations in Elastic Stack. This original interaction model described above was to align with my goals, ensuring a streamlined SOC simulation experience that was going to be realistic, efficient, and budget friendly. But that didn't happen. Mostly because, mostly because of Elastic Stack. Okay, so now I had to come up with a revised simulation setup. Here is my revised simulation plan that begins with a lightweight, simple setup and aligns with my focus on large organizations. The goal is to ensure that I can start small with one or two tools and gradually build upon them with daily and weekly tasks. Initial setup, single VM using AWS Ubuntu server as a starting point for centralized monitoring and analysis. Here are the lightweight tools. RSYS log for log collection and forwarding, Number two, fluent bit for log aggregation and querying. And then number three, Grafana for visualization, data visual, visualization. These tools are lightweight, straightforward to set up, and commonly used in, in enterprise and government environments. 
with my revised setup, I would have daily tasks. So the first three days would be the setup phase. RSYSLog configuration, install <coughs> install RSYSLog on Ubuntu, configure RSYSLog to forward system logs to FluentBit. Number two, FluentBit setup. Install FluentBit on the same VM, test log ing ingestion from RSYSLog. And then number three, Grafana setup. Install Grafana and create a simple dashboard to visualize logs. For example, system errors and warnings. Then I would have in this new setup, the revised setup, weekly sim simulation tasks. Week one, focus on SOC analyst daily responsibilities, such as monitor logs and Grafana for anomalies, create alerts for key system events, such as unauthorized access attempts, document findings in a simulated incident handler's journal. Week two, introduce penetration tester basics, install NMAP and conduct a simple network scan of the VM itself, document vulnerabilities or open ports discovered. And week three, I would expand uh, to incident responder tasks where I would be simulating an incident, once again, such as unauthorized login attempt, use RSYS log and FluentBit to analyze logs, and then create an incident response report. Then, with the revised one, there still would be expansion plans. Uh, once the basics are mastered, number one, I will add a Rocky Linux VM, use it as a target system for simulated attacks, forward logs from Rocky Linux to the Ubuntu, Ubuntu VM using RSYS log, and then number two, uh, expand to add Kali Linux VM on the Oracle Cloud, use it for offensive security tasks, for example, Metasploit Hydra, then test detection and response capabilities on Ubuntu. Number three, advanced tools. This is part of the expansion plan after everything else is set up. Add guard duty or cloud trail for cloud specific monitoring. Explore threat intelligence feeds with Alien Vault OTX. Now here are the benefits of my revised simulation setup. Start small, focus on one VM and a few lightweight tools to avoid complexity and resource overuse. Ease of use, tools like RSYSLog and FluentBit are easier to set up and require minimal configuration. Realism. Tasks mimic responsibilities in SOC penetration testing and incident response roles in enterprise and government environments. Scalability. I can gradually add more VMs and tools later. My original idea sounded exciting, but keeping it efficient within free tier limits and minimizing troubleshooting issues meant making strategic sacrifices. My revised simulation setup keeps it simple while maintaining realism. So where am I right now? I'm still in phase one, just finishing phase one, and here's what's been completed so far. Single VM, AWS Ubuntu server, tools installed, RSYS log for log collection, and FluentBit for log aggregation. That's set up, both of those are running, the server's running, and the two tools are set up. Uh, my current focus right now is optimizing log collection, avoiding unnecessary data storage and charges. So far, I haven't been charged anything. Everything is still free, but there was some troubleshooting when I reached the memory capacity or memory limit, so I shut everything down. So right now, I'm just going to go back in and optimize the log collection. After that's done, next steps. Number one, Grafana. Going to install it, set it up for log visualization. Then install Rocky Linux VM for attack simulations. Number three, Kali Linux on Oracle Cloud for red team simulations. And then number four, advanced detection tools, AWS, Guard Duty, Cloud Trail, Alien Vault, OTX. Now, those are my next steps. Obviously, there'll be some setup and most likely some troubleshooting in there. So I'm not sure how quickly we'll be able to set all that up. But the next step is optimizing log collection and then Grafana for log vis visualization. Now, as you can probably already guess, and I kind of covered it above, how my lab will work. So how will all of this work together? It's the Ubuntu server, which would be the Defender and SOC hub. Centralized log aggregation and monitoring. It will collect logs from Rocky Linux and detect threats. The Rocky Linux setup will be the target system, mimics real world server environments under attack, should generate forensic data for analysis. Then Kali Linux would be the attacker machine. This will conduct penetration testing and exploits, simulates real world threats. This setup should let me practice 
SOC workflows. This setup will let me practice SOC workflows, threat detection, and incident response, all without exceeding free tier limits. Why is all of this important? So why should you care about all this? Because this isn't just a lab. It's a realistic training ground for anyone looking to break into cybersecurity. Here's what you'll get from following this journey. Hands-on SOC experience. Learn log analysis, detection, and response. Cost-effective setup. Stay within AWS and Oracle free tiers. Step-by-step -step guidance. Watch as I build and troubleshoot in real time. Whether you're preparing for a SOC analyst role, studying for CompTIA Security Plus, studying for the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate, or just want to build something cool, this channel is here to help. Now, I recently obtained both the CompTIA Security Plus and the Google Cyber Security Professional Certificate. Okay, so what's next? Now that you know where I started and where I'm headed, it's time to get building. My next video will cover Grafana setup and log visualization. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss it. Also, I want to hear from you. What challenges have you faced setting up a home lab? Drop a comment below and let's build together. Next steps. Once again, subscribe and follow along. Watch the next video on Grafana, on my Grafana setup, and join the, com join the conversation in the comments. Once again, my name is KD. This is Cyber Defend Lab, where we take theory and turn it into hands-on security skills. I'll see you in the next video.